More Bay Area counties move to the red tier. California debuts new program to jump the vaccine line. That and more news coming up. Hey everyone, Solano, Alameda, and Santa Cruz counties are moving to the red tier this Wednesday, March 10th. As a reminder, here are the businesses and activities that are allowed to reopen and resume under the red tier. Certain counties like San Mateo are looking to soon move into the orange tier. Good news for you if you're eager to get the COVID vaccine and aren't currently eligible. There's now a way to jump the line. California has deployed a work for a shot program for volunteers. Exactly what it sounds like is exactly how it works. You basically sign up to work volunteer shifts at vaccination sites based on your zip code. And in return, you become eligible for the shot. If you're interested, you can head to this website. In-person classes are back in session. High school students in the Palo Alto Unified School District return to campus Tuesday after a year of distance learning. The district's middle and elementary school students were allowed back on campus last week and last fall, respectively. Livermore Valley Joint Unified School District is permitting in-person instruction to resume for all of its students March 22nd. And over in San Francisco, SFUSD plans to start reopening select elementary campuses April 12th. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine has touched down in the South Bay. Santa Clara County announced it received 7,500 doses of the single-shot vaccine on Monday. It just arrived um, at the health department this morning. So what has to be done now to get them into people's arms? Well, we basically, as we bring vaccines in and we just do a little bit of accounting and then we um, ship it over to the clinic or wherever it's going to be given. Dr. Fenstersheib says the shipment will be distributed generally so the public won't be able to choose where to go to get this particular brand of vaccine. The county, though, says it'll be reaching out to certain people who may benefit the most from a single shot vaccine, like unhoused residents or folks that are homebound. All right, guys, that is all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.